Breathing, big fan of it, big advocate, been doing it my whole life. Um, this is especially important to me because I've got asthma, so um, I gotta make sure that I'm doing everything right and setting myself up for success. So as always, I'm gonna go over a little bit of an analogy here about how to breathe. This can be helpful in real life too, not just when you're running. Um, how to use this, it's not a waist trainer, I know you thought it was a waist trainer, um, this elastic band to train you to breathe properly when you go outside and run. But first I wanna go over some of the basics um, and I want this to be tailored to both um, the clinician and also you, the general mass gen pop uh, runners out there. So we've got our lungs, how we breathe. We all know about the lungs, but did you know, and some of you, this might be old hat to you, but for now, I'm letting you in on a trade secret. This is so important and not just running, but just day-to-day -day life. So you've got your lungs, you have a huge gigantic muscle underneath your lungs called your diaphragm. We all know about some of your other muscles, your pecs, your traps. Those muscles are also used with breathing, but they're not meant to be used until we're doing higher intensity exercises or the oxygen demand goes up. So we've got your diaphragm, which is underneath, and you've got your traps, which is up above. Your diaphragm, everything goes from a pressure of high to low. So how it normally happens is you've got your lungs, your diaphragm goes down, air rushes in, your diaphragm goes up, air rushes out. All pressure differentials, that's how normal breathing occurs. So basically think about the lungs, that's like your, um, that's you. You're the, the loyal employee, you're the worker. You've got a manager and you've got a CEO. The diaphragm, that's the manager. They handle the day-to-day -day stuff, lower intensity, not crisis kind of things. And then you've got your CEO. That's your traps, that's for the pandemic. So just like if you're having the stapler is um, jammed, you're not gonna call the CEO of the company and ask them to help you out. No, you gotta go to the manager. There's an order of operation that has to happen. So normal breathing is diaphragmatic breathing. And a good way to do this, and I'll, I'm gonna go over this, is you can monitor. You have one hand on your stomach, one hand on your chest. We're gonna use this to monitor how we're going, how we're breathing. I'm gonna get to that in just a second, but just to, um, to kind of reiterate, your diaphragm, when you inhale, when oxygen comes in, your diaphragm goes down. When you exhale, it goes up. Your traps, when you inhale, they activate, they go up. We all have tight traps from desk, computers, technology, tension, stress, anxiety, we all have that. And then when they go down, air goes out. It's not efficient to breathe using your chest or your accessory muscles or your traps. So how this looks is before you take this out to run it, you gotta make sure you can just do this in general. One hand on your stomach, one hand on your chest. Normal breathing, do this now with me. I should feel like as my stomach is going out, that's the air is coming in. And as my stomach goes in, the air is coming out. So notice how I'm not chest breathing, I'm not breathing with my chest, I'm pushing my hand out and in. I should not feel my chest rise and fall. Once you can master this, this is gonna help you with life. If you've got tightness in your neck, traps, neck pain, I guarantee a lot of us are breathing like this. Not efficient, not the way. Don't call the CEO for the jam paper um, stapler. So once you can master this, breathing in and out through your stomach and not chest breathing, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a band, an elastic band. Um, you can probably use those ones that people put around their knees. I got this from the clinic, just something you can tie down. You want something that's elastic though, not something that's gonna restrict you. What you're gonna do, you could use an ACE bandage. You're gonna measure it out just above your belly button and you're gonna breathe in. Once like, you're sucking it in, like putting a tight pair of pants on, you're gonna tighten it down, tie a knot like I did here. When you go out and run, you wanna make sure when you're running, this gives you a cue that you're breathing out into that. You're pushing out. Notice oh, I'm not using my low back, I'm simply using my diaphragm to breathe so my stomach is going out and in. What happens a lot is when we run, we're going out just an easy pace, if you start breathing with your chest and not using your diaphragm, it's you don't load up your oxygen transporter as much, your heart rate's gonna have to go way up, you're gonna fatigue a lot faster. So there will be a time, and depends on the type of workout, where you are using your secondary muscles, your traps, but make sure that's not early. So when I'm running, I'm focusing on this big time. I'm focusing on breathing out through my stomach. Once I get into that higher intensity, I'll have that pattern, which is a little bit more advanced. Stomach goes out, then chest comes up, chest, and then stomach. So that band could be super helpful as a training tool. Um, and then just like with anything, you don't wanna become reliant on this. You take it, you go out, you do you know, a quarter mile, 
take it off or push it down and see, can you mimic that same breathing style? But your body's not gonna do it automatically, especially if you're used to breathing like this. Make sure you can do it in just day-to-day -day life first. But I promise you, if you get good at this and good at breathing, um, your pace is gonna get better, you're gonna be, um, your oxygen levels, your oxygen saturation is gonna be higher, um, and you're gonna move a lot better.